So pardon the interruption, but I should probably provide a little bit of context. If you're about my age, then you're also of the transitional generation. As kids, we would have spent a lot more time playing outside, but now we've been pulled inside with our screens. Maybe we should reverse that trend. If you also have young children, then you might know Dr. Scott, the paleontologist from the TV show Dinosaur Train. As it turns out, he's also the CEO of Science World. He wrote a book called How to Raise a Wild Child, and he gave a talk on precisely that topic last week. And I went. Okay, so now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Please welcome Scott Sampson, please. Good morning, everybody. So this is me at the age of four. My parents, uh, we're definitely nature-oriented parents. They took me out of school every year to go camping up in the Rockies and that, and uh, this is how I grew up. And yet this is not where I formed a deep connection with nature. I did that in Dunbar, on the streets. That's where the real connection formed, but it was because my parents had this orientation to get me outside and to show value in nature that I picked up that same value. The average North American child today spends on the order of seven hours a day looking at screens. For teens, it's even higher at seven to 10 hours a day. That same average North American child spends on the order of seven minutes a day playing outdoors. There is a huge fear factor, right? This notion of stranger danger. Now I will tell you, the statistics say that the chances of your child being abducted by a stranger are no greater today than they were in 1950 or 1960. That same average kid can identify a thousand corporate logos and not surprisingly less than a dozen plants native to where they live. Wow. And I walked out further and one of my boots flooded. <laughs> and my first thought was, oh my gosh, there's tadpoles swimming around in my feet. <laughs> And I looked back at my mom, and she was kind of going, yeah, you can keep going. And, and I took another step, and my other boot flooded. I ended up, she let me walk out until the water was over my waist, wow. to my chest. And I was picking these things up. And I still remember that I, I couldn't process the experience at the time, but it's the first time I recall feeling like there was no difference between me and the rest of the world. One of those experiences, and I just think, what if my mother had said, no, 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 you just stay out of the water, you can't go in there. You know, like, cuts heal, you know, clothes can be washed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to let kids have this experience. So engaging fully, and guess what, if they've never had opportunities to take risks when they were younger, they're not gonna be very good at navigating risks once they get to be teenagers. Let kids climb trees, let them get it muddy, let them pick up sticks. Keeping that sense of wonder alive is key because wonder is the seed of curiosity, which is the seed of critical thinking and a passion for learning and following one's passion through life to find a career that is deeply meaningful. So remember, get outside, get into nature, and make your own discoveries. Raising a wild child means sometimes you just got to let go and not be the helicopter parent. Uh, the concept is called being a hummingbird parent so that the kid's within reach and you extend the range as the kid gets a little bit older. So you're able to swoop in as needed and just swoop right back out. I'm trying to learn that 
because <laughs> kids will get hurt and maybe that's not such a bad thing. When I first heard about the talk on how to raise a wild child, I thought it was about reining in or guiding the rambunctious energy of a hyperactive toddler. Instead, it was really much more about connecting them with nature, where the wild things are, even if it's only in their own backyard, especially if it's in their own backyard. I'm on board with that. As a kid, my family wasn't exactly outdoor oriented. We never went hiking, fishing, camping, anything like that. With Addie, I want to expose her to a variety of experiences, so we'll figure out this nature stuff together, and not just through books. If you're new around here, welcome to the family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do put up a new vlog every Monday. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week.